Welcome back to the kitchen again. We're having a whole bunch of little visits today, but y'all are just going to be visiting one day at a time. I love broccoli. I love broccoli cheese soup. I love broccoli by itself cooked. I like broccoli raw and I like it in casseroles. Now, I've been making this broccoli cheese casserole, I don't know how many years, and it came from a cookbook from the Shepherd, Texas, United Pentecostal Church, and Jean Vaughn put it in there. I've about wore this recipe out through the years. It is a standard for sure on the menu, Thanksgiving and Christmas at our house, and in between too. And it's easy to make. I have to uh, cook one one pound package of broccoli, and I bought that at Costco that's frozen that you steam in the microwave, so I've got my broccoli cooking. I'm going to melt a stick of butter, and it takes a cup of raw rice, three-fourths of a cup or about a cup of chopped onion, and three-fourths of a cup of chopped celery, and about a cup of cheddar cheese, and a can each of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup. You mix it all up, put it in the oven, and bake it. So as soon as my broccoli gets steamed, I will melt my butter, and I'll come back and assemble it and show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, we're ready to put our broccoli casserole together. I've melted my one stick of butter in the microwave. I've got it done. And I'm going to add... Well, maybe I'll add in my my soups first. The cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. And this one, you just mix it all together and put it in your pound uh, 9 by 13 casserole and bake it at 325 for about an hour. So I've got my soups and my melted butter here. I'll mix that a little bit. You have a cup of raw rice, uncooked. Stir that in. I have had leftover rice and used cooked rice, but it works fine with the, with the uncooked. I'm going to put in my three-fourths of a cup of celery. A fourth of a cup of pimento and a cup of chopped onion. And I'll stir that around. And it has a cup of cheddar cheese. And I'm using the mild cheddar. No, it's medium cheddar. I just know it's not sharp. It's medium. But you can use whatever your taste prefers. Okay, I've got all of it mixed. I'm going to add in my steamed broccoli. This is one pound of steamed broccoli. Okay, I'm going to put this into my casserole. Sometimes I'll top it with some, uh, and this broccoli could have been broccoli, you know, chopped a little bit more, but I kind of like to get a nice piece of cooked broccoli in it, so I'm not going to pulverize it. I'm going to put it in there just like it is. And this will cook, like I said, about an hour uh, at 325, and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, the, the broccoli casserole is out of the oven, and I'm fixing to dish some up. Okay, y'all, isn't that pretty, and doesn't it look delicious? And let me tell you, it is. Y'all, I'm going to taste of this. I've been wanting some of this broccoli casserole for a long time now. I'm going to be full time I get through tasting everything, but 
<clears throat> it's been a good day of tasting. It's just yummy. <clears throat> that is delicious. I love broccoli. And the cheddar cheese, oh my goodness. That just makes it wonderful. I sure hope y'all will try these recipes that I'm sharing. And leave me some comments and let me know if you uh, used them and how you liked them. If you make something similar, you know, tell me how you do it or what you do. And y'all have a good evening. And be sure you come back tomorrow because we're going to have another good recipe. Another side dish maybe. I'm not sure. It may be a party. Something to use at a party or something. I don't know. I'm going to surprise y'all. Y'all uh, take care. And, you know, be blessed. Let the good Lord go with you and take care of you and, and um, bless you. And I'll meet with you again tomorrow and share some of my stuff.